Who else does poor core in Inkopolis? This guy. Hello and welcome to more Splatoon! We're gonna go to stage 19, we're also gonna do 20 and 21 today, and find a boss. So today is gonna be pretty gosh dang jam-packed. Let's get right to it. I didn't actually read the, na the name of the stage. Oh, it is Tumbling Splatforms. And as you can see, stuff in the background, probably gonna be lots of flipping and rolling and rotation and all that. So let's, let's just go deal with it, I guess. Mm -hmm. I almost said Die Monster, but I've already said- Ow! I've already said that too much. We, we've had enough Die Monster, we need to think of a new catchphrase. Maybe... Die... Dude... Wait, let's go get this box. That's kind of funny, someone in the comments said that the level of uh, boxes in this game is starting to reach Crash Bandicoot levels. And Crash Bandicoot has a dang lot of boxes. I don't know if this game has quite that many. And also, the little armor we pick up, it gives me a helmet. I don't know why I thought I had the helmet all the time, but... Oh well, there it is. Die. Die. Uh, I guess I can call the monsters. I can say die in octopuses. Is there anything up there? Nope, we're good. Maybe I should just stop telling them to die. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna die anyways. Does it count as dying if you get killed? Is dying and getting killed like synonymous? I don't know. I think there might be a difference. There's probably gonna be the scroll somewhere in here. You know, let's let's flip around for a bit. Oh, don't fall off there. I'm I'm thinking it's probably going to be somewhere on one of these platforms. Maybe it's going to uh, flip over to a gap where there's something that you can go inside, or maybe not. Okay, well let's just move on then. That was a pretty good idea, I thought though. We'll keep looking for it. Maybe down here. Uh, man, I really feel like these spinning platforms are going to somehow lead to it. I mean, if if that's the theme of the stage, is the splitting pat splitting platforms. Gosh dang, spinning. Spinning platforms. It's probably gonna somehow lead to the scroll. Although maybe it's something to do with that spot. Hmm. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll just keep moving on. We'll keep our eyes peeled. I probably have missed it already. Gosh dang it. It's kind of funny. People are always like, uh, people always say they're yelling at the screen when, uh, when I miss stuff. I can't help it, guys. I, I really am trying to look for it, but sometimes things are pretty well hidden. Uh, when I miss things when it's like a net that you have to drop through, yeah, that was probably pretty obvious. I mean, oh, there's a net here. Probably should look to see if I need to drop through that, but a lot of the times it's not super obvious. Um, uh, let's see. I don't see anything down there to drop onto. I guess we just go. Get them balloons. Oh no! Oh, we made it! We made it! Okay, I really thought I was gonna miss that one. Nope, kinda missed part of the- part of the top! Yep. Can I make it? No, not quite. There we go. Hmm. Well, we can drop through here, but I don't think that's gonna do much for us. We'll just kill these guys. Yep, get the last one. There you go, dude. Oh, maybe it's right there. What do you guys think I should name my my guy? Oh, there's this there's the scroll. We didn't miss it. Sick. But yeah, what do you guys think I should name my guy? My my inkling. I guess it could just be the psycho psycholing or something. But we need to think of a good name. I don't know why I haven't asked this like five episodes ago, but I think I think that's something we should consider. Get to the top here. See, I, I have decided, guys, that I will be waiting until I get a thousand points to upgrade my uh, to upgrade my gun. So the bombs, as a lot of people have pointed out in the comments as well, the, the bombs are just not that good in uh, this game for, for single player. They're fantastic for multiplayer, but for single player, eh, they're kind of lackluster. So I think that we're just gonna wait until we get a thousand points so we can max out our gun and not really worry too much about anything else. But here we got stu uh, tumbling platforms completed. Did, did I say spinning? I think I said spinning platforms before. It's, it's tumbling, guys. There's a big difference. But all right, we got stage 19 completed. Is the big fluffy one providing shelter for the little fishy one, or is the little fishy one manipulating the big fluffy one? We may never know. I think that's a gosh, an anemone and a clownfish. In before, that's not exactly what that is. All right, so we're gonna use the touchpad to jump over to stage 20, which is right over here. Oh, it looks like this might be an Octoling battle. Octoling Uprising. Battle at Bluefin Depot. Yep. That is pretty obviously going to be another battle, which I like. These are actually some of my favorite stages. I love battling the Octolings. Oh, we got like a light blue. Wow. I don't know if I've ever seen that color. The Octolings with seaweed on their heads are super tough. I think we've dealt with these before. So Agents 1 and 2. Um, I, I, a lot of people, once again in the comments, I was kind of just reading the comments this morning, and... A lot of people are also saying that they're like, you're Agent 3, and I, 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 I must have said at some point that who's Agent 3 or something like that. I know Agent 3 is me, 
Um, so, sorry if that was unclear. But yeah, Agent 3, they kind of said that was us right at the beginning of the game, so... I've known that's us for a long time. Oh, don't you be exploding me. Yeah, the blue and green, usually they have pretty contrasty colors, but this is the first stage where the colors have been kind of similar. I mean, they're not super hard to tell apart or anything, but they are closer than they usually are. Let's grab that helmet, get this Octo taken down. Actually, I, I haven't taken the time to look at the Octo in their trans uh, transformed form. <laughs> their Octo form, whatever you want to call it. I kind of saw a short glimpse of one back there, but didn't really get a good look at it. All right, let's kill this guy. Let's go across here. Oh, gotcha, buddy. Can we make that jump? Probably not. Let's not even try. Let's just go over this way. I wonder if they're going to turn any of these maps that we play on single player. I wonder if they're going to turn any of them into multiplayer things. Because the multiplayer, I think it just got a new map last night. Oh my gosh, my armor just broke. Well, oh, there was two of them on me. Oh, wow, I actually died. I actually died. Wow. I'm not sure if this is the same one or if we just killed a different one. But we're going to keep getting some balls here. Oh, I think these might be the same enemies. So we got them at least. You know, I'm not going to edit ahead anymore. We'll just pretend that I'm, pretend that I'm on a different part here. Yep, there's a new checkpoint, so I guess there's something. Man, it feels like totally different enemies, even though I felt I think that was the same part. Yeah, let's go up this wall. Wow, they're everywhere! Wow! I guess you can tell this is uh, getting near the end of the game, because they're throwing tons of enemies at us. Oh, I think this might have been where I was before. Eh. Ah, got him! I guess I just took the, the short path last time, but the short path also had way less checkpoints. Yeah, this is where I died the first time. Eh. Wow, I almost died again! Jeez, just that positioning there, I guess, is a little bit tough for me. Let's go grab that. Let's go see if any of these boxes have the scroll that I'm looking for. Nothing right there. And just some armor, but we'll take it. I guess the armor does come in pretty handy. I'm not seeing any boxes back this way that I might have missed. But I probably missed the scroll at some point. Let's just keep moving forward. Oh, would you not be an Octoling? Jeez, so inconsiderate. Why can't we just all be friends? Why do we have to be enemies like this? I mean, there's enough battles going on with Turf Wars just between Inklings themselves. We don't need an extra enemy to spice things up or anything. Let's see. Yeah, I guess we're just going to the Zapfish. I guess I'm going to go back, guys, and look for the, the scroll, and I'll meet you guys when I find it. Well, about 10 minutes later, it turns out it is right near the end, as I expected initially, right through this thing. Gosh dang it, that took me a while to find. But we got it. Let's go save the dang Zapfish and beat this stage. We got him! Squid Squad's new album, Fresh Kids, takes their trademark Squid Core sound to a whole new level. Critics call it an aural buffet of squid, squidosyncratic psychedelicacy. The perfect theme for any turf war on sale now. Oh, well that's, that's pretty cool. But all right, guys, let's go beat stage number 21. One more stage to go before we get this boss taken care of. This one is Unwelcome Flying Object, Underpass Infiltration. Let's go inside. So we have 720 balls. We need 280 more to get our last upgrade that we really care about, which is the gun upgrade. I think my ink tank is maxed out, but I can't remember. Oh, we got another one of these guys. All right. Well, we'll deal with them. Just get some bowels. You know, I'm just gonna go through quick. We're not even, not even gonna worry about this. Actually, this is a map for multiplayer, so I know this map pretty well. So let's just go right on through. This is actually one of my favorite multiplayer maps. There's only like five or six maps out right now, but hey, I'll, I'll take my favorites where I can get them. Oh, wow, look at that Inksuka power. Gosh dang, we just went in. Oh, well, let's not get killed by that. Thank you. I think we just want to go around this way here. Get that sponge popping. There you go, buddy. Climb up on that to get some to get some uh, defense from it. Ow! Well, the thing almost hit me. Didn't quite though. Yeah, we're getting a lot of balls here, guys. I've already gotten like 40 since we got here. We've been here for like a minute or two. Die! Die! Okay, we can go up on top of this thing. Get a can of fish or whatever, and that'll give us a oh, a seeker spam or whatever that is. Yeah, spam them seekers. Up, uh, up. Uh. Well, let's not get killed by the ink strike! Well, that was so much for those seekers. I think the gun is even better than a special. Uh, well, I probably missed the scroll. Whoops. I should have looked for that a little bit more. I got a little bit too aggressive, but I'll get that in a minute. Not a big deal. I just got hyped because I was actually playing a stage that I know pretty well. Okay, we have to actually go over walls this time. So it's not just going around in a circle. That's They're kind of mixing it up a little bit. They are showing us the same mini-boss here quite a few times, which I guess is a disappointment depending on how you look at it, but... I'm really not too worried about it. So we got that taken care of. Let me see if I could drop back down and by any chance, hopefully get the, uh, get the sunken scroll. So, ah, can I, can I go down? Can we go down there without dying? Looks like we can. No, we can't. 
please don't tell me I have to fight the boss again. Okay, we're good. So let me just grab the zapfish. I'll meet you guys at the scroll. And there it is. We got the scroll. Kaboom! Let's go beat the stage again. What is this? It looks just like the proprietor of that shoe shop. Could there have been an ancient creature that consumed Franz's food? A terrifying thought indeed. Yeah, maybe just a little bit. Wow, we only have like six stages left in the entire game, but let's go fight that boss. Is there any way we can just jump right up to him? It does not seem that we can, although we could, I guess, just jump right down. He's not exactly very far away. So there we go, let's go off to the boss kettle. And I keep forgetting to look at the names before we go in, but I think it's fine. We're also getting very close to getting the 1,000 points we need for the upgrade, because that last stage just gives a lot of things. So we have Inkling is on the menu. Once again, missed the name. It, it popped up, though. You guys can read it. So let's see what we got here. Let's cover, I guess, some... Space. I'm not sure if this is going to get erased as soon as we start the battle. What do we got? Oh my gosh, look at that crud. Well, there's the zapfish we need. Don't worry, buddy, I'm here to save you! So it's another battle where we have these tentacle things. Oh! I guess it's inside his throat there. Come at me, dude! Yep, all the ink that we put out actually stays there. That's actually very convenient. Oh boy! Oh boy! Okay. Oh, we have to shoot the teeth off. Got it. And I died already. Well, note to self, shoot a little bit faster on those teeth. He kills you really fast. Maybe you just have to shoot the teeth and get out of there. I, I don't know. But we'll find out. Okay, okay. Uh, yep, you just gotta shoot him and get out. You don't have to actually sit there all day. Okay, what, are, what are we doing here? Oh, shoot his teeth out! Shoot his teeth out! Oh, oh! Oh, yeah! Did we get him? Is that good enough? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, well, you're not exactly very terrifying with your lack of teeth there, buddy. Uh, what else do we do? We've got your teeth. Your teeth are all dead. Now what? Okay, I'm guessing we might have to throw a grenade inside his mouth. That's all I can think to do, really. So let's try that. Open up. And it worked! Alright, so grenades are actually useful. Hooray! Let's get that shot right there. This guy actually seems easier than the last boss, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see if he ramps up in difficulty, but the, the boss from last time, or from a couple episodes ago, seemed a lot more difficult than this one. Oh, but now he's got metal teeth. They're probably going to be harder to take down. That would make sense. Also, we just got rid of all my ink. You little crutter. Guys, okay, get out of there. Get out of there. All right. So I think we just have to knock open a hole right here, then toss it in. So yeah, you don't actually have to wait around to kill all the teeth. You just have to get enough taken care of to get in there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got to do this part. I forgot. And I still got in time. Wow. This game is very forgiving. You can make mistakes like I did right there. Just completely forget to even shoot them. Go back for it and still have it just fine. All right, now he's up to the gold teeth, so we'll have to try our best here. Yeah, yeah, get rid of all the ink. We'll just build up what we can here. And let's go, get out of there. We good. Got my grenades ready. And get in there. Boom, just like that. Let's go up and get that last hit. And there we go, guys. Another boss defeated. I think that was the fourth boss in the game. So we've got our scroll. Also... It turns out the scrolls from the bosses, what they actually do is they unlock weapons for the multiplayer. So if you want to get all the weapons for multiplayer, you gotta play single player. I think. Maybe there's ways to get them in, sing in multiplayer exclusively, but as far as I know, we have to do this in multiplayer as well. So let's grab that scroll, let's get all these balls, and let's save that zapfish. Alright guys, let's go see what this scroll has to say, and we'll check out the, uh, the next area for a little bit. I guess we'll call it a day. Holy mackerel pancakes, Agent 3! You're really good! Well, thank you. I've seen better. If you keep this up, we'll find the great zapfish in no time. That's great and all, but don't forget about the captain. Scritchy scratch. Who is this? Yeah, <laughs> Incopolis. Oh, it's the final boss. Give us back the great zapfish, you jerk. And Captain Cuttlefish, you, we want him back too. Incopolis is mine, yo. Dude, seriously? Get your own radio channel. Agent 3, you gotta do something about this guy, and quick! I got this, don't even worry. I think the next boss might be the last boss. But, inkling on the menu, the ravenous whatever he was, it's all done. So here we get the Octi anti-octopus weapon blueprints, designer, emosis, all that crud. So we'll bring that to multiplayer sometime, but it looks pretty cool. Anyways guys, that is going to be it for today. I guess we'll check out this little, little electric zappy thing right here. I guess I'll see you guys next time. We'll tackle a few more stages. I think there's going to be three more episodes. We're going to have uh, Wrecking the Next Stages, you know, three, three stages per episode. Then we'll have the last boss be his own video. So, I'll see you guys then. Take care.